This thin book is a summation, if brief, of the results of 50,000 years of thinking men. Their materials, researched and capped by a quarter of a century of original search by L. Ron Hubbard, have brought the humanities, so long outdistanced by the exact sciences, into a state of equality, if not superiority, to physics, chemistry, and mathematics. No such knowledge has ever before existed, and no such results have ever before been attainable by man as those which can be reached by a study of this brief volume. The term Scientology is taken from the Latin word skio, knowing in the fullest meaning of the word, and the Greek word logos, study of. Scientology is further defined as the study and handling of the spirit in relationship to itself, universes, and other life. Dianetics is a forerunner and substudy of Scientology. Dianetics comes from the Greek words dia, through, and nous, mind or soul. Dianetics is what the soul is doing to the body. Like engineering, Scientology has certain basic principles. These are necessary to a full understanding of the subject. You may have been taught that the mind, spirit and life are very difficult things to know about. This is the first principle of Scientology. It is possible to know about the mind, the spirit and life. fundamental idea in Scientology is called the cycle of action. Cycle means a span of time with a beginning and an end. A section of the totality of time with a beginning and an end. In beginningless and endless time one can set out periods which do have a beginning and an end insofar as action is concerned. Action means motion or movement, an act, a consideration that motion has occurred. In very ancient books, it is written that from chaos came birth. From birth, there was growth. When growth was achieved, there was then a gradual decay. The decay then ended in death. After death, there was chaos. Scientology expresses this more briefly. The cycle of action is an apparency as follows. Create, then survive, then destroy. Or creation, survival, destruction. First, there is creation. This is then followed by survival. This is followed by destruction. Apparency means appears to be, as distinct from what actually is. This cycle is only an apparency. It is what we see, what we behold, 
what we believe. We consider that it is so, and we then see it so. A child is born, he grows, he reaches manhood, he grows old, he dies. In Scientology, it can be seen that none of these steps are necessary. One considers them so, and so they are true. A man can grow old quickly or slowly. He grows old to the degree that he believes he is growing old. Because everyone agrees that this is the way things are, they go that way. The cycle is not true. It is only apparent. It is apparent because we believe we see it. It is apparent because we agree that it should be so. The test of this principle is as follows. By using the cycle of action, can we make anyone well or more intelligent? Thousands of tests have proven that the use of and belief in the cycle of action has made none well or intelligent. Therefore, no matter if we see it, there must be something wrong with it. The woman growing old, wishing to appear younger, is protesting this cycle of action. She feels there is something wrong with it. There is. We have to find out what the actual cycle is before we can make people better. Actual means what is really true. That which exists despite all apparencies. That which underlies the way things seem to be. The way things really are. The actual cycle of action is as follows. Create, 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 create. Create, counter create. No creation, nothingness. Create means to make, manufacture, construct, postulate, bring into beingness, create. Create, create, create means to create again continuously one moment after the next. Survive. Create, counter-create, means to create something against a creation. To create one thing and then create something else against it. Destroy. No creation means an absence of any creation. No creative activity. An actual cycle of action, then, consists of various activities, but each and every one of them is creative. The cycle of action contains an apparency of survival. But this is actually only a continuous creation. Create, create, create. The apparent cycle of action